Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I am Tarun Sharma and we are talking about all about Prisma, Next.js, Next.auth, TRPC, all these texts combined. And in the last video, we talked about uh, this particular example where we were doing a simple authentication authorization, I mean simple authentication uh, and we were using simple, this was the setup. If you check out my previous video, so we are just going to build on top of that now. So that tutorial is done. We were able to build a simple authentication. Now, what is the next thing? Here in this video, we are going to talk about very simple example before we talk about next auth and TRPC because there will be two more videos in this playlist. One will be talk about simple uh, APIs we are building with the next auth, next JS, and then we are consuming that in the client side components to the route. So in the next uh, JS, we are going to use uh, let's say here we are going to define a table in the Prisma schema. Okay, and then we are going to write a simple CRUD because sometimes it's like very basic examples I'm covering. So the last few last two videos we covered a, we built a simple authentication using a next JS API route and we build a, all these pages authentication page login register and the profile page and it was all like three hours of content. Now we are going to build a simple feedback survey application where without even doing login because in the next video we are going to talk about next auth but for now we are going to just create a simple api routes these are like feedback api route and it's like get put post uh, and fetch and this prisma is going to use sqlite or maybe a post this all these database you can use so we just need to define a prisma schema file and we will just do a prisma migrate and generate and all these things are happening inside a nx console so we are using this simple stack i'm not going to make this application complex my last video was a little heavy so this video we are just going to build a simple feedback survey application where user can submit the feedback with a comment so just like a single model we are going to have in the prisma and then we are going to define the api routes in the next js because next year 13 we are using we will define the API routes and we should be able to create feedback, update feedback, delete feedback, fetch the list of all the feedbacks and for that we are going to use the same cookies. So here this is my this is my application right. I can create a clone of it because I'm going to use the same structure and same stack. So next JS Prisma uh, thread you can say because at the end uh, I'm just going to run some APIs and going to demo you how this is all work end to end. Okay, so this is our simple stack which we are going to build. So what we need, we need a Prisma client. We need, a, we don't need any authentications uh, library because we are not doing any authentication. In the next video, we are going to introduce this and this, right? because authentication will be done by next auth so it will solve our problem of building authentication we don't need to build authentication of our own we can use the next auth with any social provider and we will use a trpc for building our server so three more videos after this we will be having in this playlist let's build this so we created a simple uh, folder i can just clean up my dependencies because some of the dependencies i may not need Prisma client, okay, bcrypt I may not need, uh, bcrypt JS, JAWS, JSON web token, okay, Prisma client is coming twice, why? And Tailwind CSS, React hook forms, let's keep all the other dependencies, okay. So what we need to do is I can just uh, change the namespace here because we are using nx console so it's better if we put a namespace for each and every project so here i will just put uh, tk sharma so this is the next js prisma auth and this project is all about next js prisma crud so let's define all these uh, i will just put the namespace here next is prisma crud and then if you are good at using nx console uh, you can just use this and you can see all these different applications okay i was using t3 stack earlier 
so let's use common name for everything okay t3 stack and here inside a prisma auth also i will just change the the package json you can just make it as a t3 stack and i can just access nx console so all these applications we have right i can just simply build so i do have lots of content in this lots of folders and all we'll try to clean up all of these so prisma i will just delete the migrations i will keep the schema file and here inside source i do have components lib store store i can keep i will just change the store lib component i can delete and inside source i have app and all these pages i can delete because these we don't need i can just keep the page.psx which is simple we don't need header okay so header component we don't need i will just delete the components itself okay so this is simple layout this is our root page.tsx and then these are of my apis which we are going to build so these apis also i'm going to change instead of user i will be doing something like feedback okay i will just delete everything variable in the finder or here i can delete so inside app i will create an api folder and then you can start adding your apis let's say i will have a feedback so let's say i'm just building a feedback survey right so we need to add the endpoints route endpoints and all those things and i'm just building this on top of my existing application and inside a prisma first of all we will just change our schema file so okay it's not auth here we are going to update this thing so instead of user i will just use feedback and we are going to build a feedback form kind of application so id this is text this is rating created at an updated at so these are the the things we have rating is of type float and unique we are going to add to text this is a unique okay and then what you need to do is simply prisma generate migrate and all these things so i will open this in the terminal first of all and i will do pnpm install so all these cleanup will be done here and then i will just do npx prisma generate so it will okay prisma command dot found it's npx i did not npm so it will just add the client and then prisma migrate dev it will just populate this model and model name is feedback so it will create this table in this uh, sqlite so still we are using sqlite that is good for creating these simple demos and here you can see my env that contains my database url right so here this uh, migrations are created this is my database and this is my simple schema file i think we can delete this this database we are not using schema file so this is our simple you can say uh, tape model that we are going to access through the prisma client and we are going to define all the, our apis so how we define apis inside source app api and here okay looks like i deleted things from a different folder this we need to retain this we need to delete okay i need to do the git checkout okay we don't need to delete anything from this auth folder so i will just do git checkout from this folder okay this is not the folder inside this we have apps okay so these things are restored here in this and i will be deleting these apis from the crud so we don't need auth and user i will delete them and all these pages i will delete them 
so we have profile login register and this is my layout layout is fine inside a page.tsx we don't have header so i will delete that and this is simple my layout store we can reuse this is my environment file so we got it so now we can just build our apis so inside api let's building simple hello and hello will contain what route.ts hello will be so inside this we will create a route.ts and inside feedback so inside api i am going to create another folder feedbacks okay that will have its own route.ts and inside this i am again going to have an id because uh, i wanted to do a put patch delete on particular feedback id and inside this i am going to have routes dot route dot ts okay so this is just uh, the file setup we have created and uh, what we are going to do in the root uh, feedbacks so this route dot ts I can, I can use for two different methods like i wanted to fetch all the other feedbacks first export async function and this is let's say get this is the get handler and similarly export async uh, function post let's say you are creating a new feedback and i'm going to handle these handlers through these handlers okay here we are going to access the the next request this is how create a simple next js api route so we don't have external apis we are going to re re we are going to use the api endpoints provided by next year so here we can handle that through the request okay so now what we need to do is let's see what we need to write inside get first of all we can create the feedback okay so how do we do it we will just put things inside try catch and now we have already done a lot of work in the next js so we know what needs to be written so let's say if there is an error response so what we are doing is first of all we need to enter the payload so how we do it const json equal to so const json equals to we need to extract the payload first request dot json so this will give us the payload and then const feedback equal to here we can use await i think prisma okay prisma is not there so what we need to do is we need to put prisma in the library so we are we already know how to do it so inside app inside source we can create a lib folder and inside that i can just put prisma.ts file so that all these things will be inside a lib folder inside source and i can import this thing inside my routes api feedback routes so here prisma dot feedback that is again it's not populating the models i need to restart after doing generate then it will start giving me this particular model so here you can see i restarted and uh, i can see feedback model is populating on this so feedback dot so what we are doing is we are trying to create the feedback so how we do it feedback dot create and we just pass the the payload on this so what we will do is feedback dot create and inside this we just pass the different object which contains the payload so here we have this an object and let response for this in the response we are creating is okay let's say the status we can say success and the data which we have received is the feedback object okay that you can put here inside the feedback so this is your json response and you can return this next response by stringifying it right and next response you can import and if there is an error any error right 
So if there is an error code, specific error code, that means uh, the data already exists because there is a unique key constraint on the the title, right? So you are we are passing two different properties. If the error code is this, so it's a try catch. We have used the same code earlier also. If error code is this, that means the feedback with title already exists, and then you can just send a conflict exception. This error is of type any. Okay. Otherwise, error response will be. So if let's say this is not true, this condition is not true, and we still need to return an error response. So we can just create a custom error response. Let's say there is no conflict, but there is something else. Then you can do something like this and just send a 500 uh, status code in the response to the client. Okay, this is our simple API which we have created for feedback create. So this is the post call. You can see post call to create a feedback. Then we can also have a simple fetch call which can also be paginated because it's going to be very simple. Because how to do it? So let's say if I just try to do feed how I do it, it prisma dot feedback and here prisma dot feedback has this really nice option find many and inside this you can just specify how many you wanted to skip or what is your limit let's say I'm going to define my limit and order by order by I can I already have created it so I can just show sending order right so I just need to get all these uh, page and limit options so we can just pass this inside a search parameter while passing it so here I will just put this thing code inside a try catch this is error if there is an error then we will deal with something like this and here we are getting the page and limit okay so here the limit we are passing so in the search params so there is a search params in the next url you are you might be passing page and limit so how this is how we will parse it parse it and then we will just create the skip how many elements i need to skip and once i have the feedbacks all the feedbacks i can just create a json response json response looks like okay status is success and inside the data so what do we have we have a result how many feedbacks we have received feedbacks dot length and then i can just put all the feedbacks in the response to the client and here i can just return that this particular response return new response and inside this you can stringify the response to the client json dot stringify uh that is json response so return json response dot okay because this is successful response you can just simply do is next response dot json this is a method we haven't used it and this is all already a json object we can return now if there is an error right so we need to build error response for it same as like uh, okay status is error and then this error is of type any this is like fetch feedbacks and then we can just do return new next uh, response and here you will just put uh, your stuff json dot stringify json dot stringify error response And then you will put the status code so this status is let's say i'm just saying 500 and headers i mean you can just send the same headers which we are receiving and sending earlier also content type application json okay a simple uh, get endpoint and the post endpoint get endpoint is giving you all the feedbacks in the paginated way and uh, the prisma supports it very nicely skip and the limit it takes in the query itself in the find many so this is all post and create now there is an id so i'm talking about this route.ts so here we can extract the we can we can write all the apis where you wanted to get a particular feedback you wanted to delete all these things so we'll just start writing it so 
processing function so we have that handler inside get we are passing request which is of type request okay and the second argument here is the params so here i will access the params which is of type okay it's params inside params also you will get uh, so inside params you will get id of type string because we are passing id as a path param right so how we will access the id id equal to this is the path param, params dot id you will get the value of id and then you can get the feedback once feedback equal to update uh, we already have that prisma dot feedback dot find unique or find first whatever is suitable for you where id is this the id which we have received right and then if you got the feedback you will pass it if you didn't get the feedback right so what you need to do you need to just build an error response and send it to the client so let's say i don't have a feedback i will just build the response and then i will send it otherwise i will send the response back to the the client and that is simple i guess so next response dot json and json response and i'm sending this feedback similarly there is a patch and delete let's say if we talk about delete i will write the same function here this is a delete handler so how we define it it's instead of get there will be a delete we got the access to the request response and the params and here instead of uh, doing fetch we can simply do delete so we already got the id await prisma dot feedback dot delete this is a method i exist already so it will delete it so if it is done already successfully then we can just return true for no content otherwise let's say if there is any error in this then we have to fix that i mean we need to send the appropriate uh, message in the status code so inside try catch we can just do the same thing here i, I will just build the error message and error response error response and i will send it so the same thing we can do error response fail to delete something like that so its a status is error and message is fail to delete fail to delete resource and send it as like uh, 500 should be uh, still fine because you didn't find that particular resource uh, so if you are not able to delete then it should throw any error and then we can just throw it okay unable to delete the resource and 500 error otherwise there are multiple condition checks we can do so this is delete and then there can be a patch call patch will be just like updating this so how we do simple update so if i just convert this into the patch you should be able to understand it simply how we do it i will just create this as a patch and i will get the id so parents.id and i will also get the data right because it's a patch call means you also want to update something request dot json this is how i will get the payload so i will update the feedback how i do it so await so here i can just do this update it feedback equal to await prisma dot feedback dot update and it takes two argument i guess so first one is the where close where this is the id and here you can pass the data like okay what data you wanted to update if the record counts okay json response success and we can just return the updated feedback if there is an, any error then we will deal it in that same way we will just return 500 failed to update the resource okay so simple apis like get put post patch delete so we uh, we already have the list and the create here i just did okay you wanted to get the particular id item you wanted to delete the particular uh, feedback you wanted to update a particular feedback all these things can happen through all these different methods so this is okay i need to fix that. 
So, okay, what is this? Export async function, try catch, and there is additional. Okay, now it has all these methods which we can consume at the client side in the components. So now, now let's uh, start this application. So Prisma auth crud and here I will do npm run dev and try to see how it really works. We will just try to test the endpoints. So we want to, I want to run this application on 3000. So this is started on 3000. Now I will just try to test these APIs, which is provided by this uh, next JS yes endpoints, the feedback API feedbacks and then API feedbacks ID that ID contains the patch delete and get. So we can open our uh, insomnia and here we have API feedbacks. So I will just try to access API feedbacks. Okay, it is hitting the APIs and you can see success feedbacks are empty. That means it's working, right? So instead of creating something like this, I will just try to make a new request feedbacks. Okay, this is simply get. Now I'll just try to create a duplicate of this. This is feedback create. That is going to be post call. Feedback create and inside this body, I will be passing the JSON object. Right, so this is the API feedbacks, which is expecting a JSON object. And here we are going to pass the properties uh, for the feedback. So inside, uh, if you look into this, what we are passing is text and the rating. So I can just pass the text. Hello, and then there is another attribute we have is rating. That is a type let's say floating. I'll just make this also as a string and then I will just do the post. Okay, the rating is created. Feedback title is already there. Hello, one, two, three. I will should be able to create it. Hello, demo. This is simple feedback we are creating and fetching the list of feedbacks here. Okay, that's good, right? So our simple feedback APIs are working. You can also fetch the particular feedback. So this is feedback, feedback by ID. I will just create a duplicate feedbacks by ID. This is also get call and I will just pass this and send it. So this should be able to give me the, the selected feedback, which is coming back, right? And you can just delete, update. If I want to delete this, I can simply delete this. And now this would be one feedback less. So I just have a two, right? So it's like CRUD operations are we have written uh, using NestJS API routes. And this is how it really works. This is like very simple things. But uh, whenever we are doing a NestJS APIs and you wanted to write some CRUD operations and all with the help of Prisma, you can do. So this is like a very simple demo example. Uh, to help you understand how we are defining the APIs in the next JS and how we can access the Prisma by running the migrations, we populate the tables and then we can just run this, these simple queries using Prisma client. Okay, that's all. In the next video, let's talk about next auth. So next auth, I have already covered one video. I will just give you a simple walkthrough that how we are uh, doing the authentication with the help of uh, next auth using simple credentials or by just doing Google authentication with the Google or authentication with the GitHub, all these providers.